you probably never think twice about what lives underneath your feet at the beach. We're gonna show you what's hiding out of sight with this jar and this microscope camera. But just a heads up, this might make you think twice about visiting the beach. Several years ago, I made an ecosphere from a beach in Texas, and everyone could not believe all the creepy crawly things that I caught. A lot of people said they were done with the beach for good. I mean, I don't blame them. Check out some of the things that we caught. And all of this made me want to try again at another beach. Maybe even a little bit nicer of a beach. We're at the Wind and Sea Beach in Southern California. This is a nice beach, but wait till you see what's hiding underneath the sand. This place is a favorite of mine. People are surfing, walking their dogs, there's tons of large rocks to climb on, and lots of washed up seaweed. I hope we'll find something here. I know you can hear it in the microphone, but there is a ton of wind and a ton of sea here. We'll fill up our jar with some scoops of sand and add some water. This is typically how I catch a lot of different species of microfauna. There's also tons of species of seaweed washed up on the beach. With all that added, we'll whip out the microscope camera and see what we can find. And after all this, I'm kind of surprised. There's really not much swimming around. Typically, we find tons of different microfauna swimming around with just one scoop of water. But I wonder why there's none here. It makes me think something may be eating them. Look in the sand every time a wave passes. Every one of those breaks in the water is a small creature called a mole crab. They burrow down in the sand and with every passing wave, they peek out to filter through the water to catch and eat small dinoflagellates and plankton swimming in the water. Those specialized filter antennae are what we see here above the surface. There are thousands of them here on the beach. As we're filming, I feel like I'm stepping all over them. Every passing wave, they crawl over my feet. Luckily, these mole crabs are harmless and they don't even have claws to pinch you. Let's catch one to get a closer look. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps our small channel grow and reach new people. We got one in our jar. Let's check him out in a close-up with our microscope camera. Underneath a microscope camera, it's super cool to see their eyes. It almost looks like a snail. When they're burrowed under the ground, they can use these long eyes to see above the surface. Pretty amazing. Below its eyes, you can also vaguely see part of its body it uses for filtering through the water. It kind of looks like a feather. This is a much smaller one than the one we first caught. It has a lot of growing left to do. We're gonna dump everything out that we caught here before we move north to see what else we can find. People watch these videos from all over the world. Comment down below and give your closest beach a shout out. On one of the rocks, we spotted this crab. He looks just like the rock, blending in almost perfectly. Once we let him go, he went right back to his little hole. He knows where his home is. Bye, crab. In some other tide pools close by, there's all kinds of different sea anemones, crabs, snails, and small fish. Even some sea lions were close by playing. That's something you don't always see at the beach. I really wanted to see what else we could find at another beach. Now we're at Coronado Beach. Let's see what lives in the water here. This is one of my favorite beaches in Southern California. Coronado is a beautiful island with awesome beaches and the sand looks like gold. I'm very curious to see what we find here. We'll do the same thing, scoop up some sand in our jar and then fill it with some water. I also found a small piece of macroalgae I'll add to the jar too. Under the microscope camera, the sand is super cool to see. I didn't see any mole crabs on this beach. And sure enough, look, there's some microfauna. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It was really hard to get a good close up of them. But sure enough, they are swimming around in just one scoop of water. It is so cool to see all that lives in the beach all around us and we don't even notice. I hope you still want to visit the beach. 
If you enjoy videos like this from Ajar, then check out one of these videos next. We make all kinds of videos about what can live inside of a jar.